Okay, so in this video, I'm going to go through all the options that you have for generating your final ebook. So once you've compiled your ebook in this application, you need to go to export, and there are various options in export, and we'll go through briefly each of them. Now, the first one is to generate an ebook for Amazon Kindle, and in the brackets we have the word Mobi because the file extension will be of a file called something something dot mobi file so that's your dot mobi file okay and the next option is the one for it says Barnes and Noble Nook ebook and it's got epub in there which will be the epub format now you see another option which says generate ebook uh, EPUB format ebook, which is a general EPUB format. So, what is the difference between selecting an uh, for Barnes and Noble, which is still an EPUB format, and selecting a general uh, EPUB format, or even uh, selecting this where it says generate for Smashwords? It's still an EPUB format, and once again here we have generate for Lulu and once again it's an EPUB format. So why do I have so many different options when they all create the EPUB format? And the simple answer is that each of these platforms um, although they do adhere to the standards uh, the EPUB standards which is version 2 and 3 I have found some anomalies within working with these uh, particular formats and there are some you know caveats which I've actually coded in so not all all these EPUBs are generated equally there are some little tricks and tweaks that I've had to do for them to work within these particular platforms okay so that is why I have so many of these where you need to pick the the correct one so for for example if you are generating an ebook for lulu then you must use this generate lulu epub format option okay um because there is a slight difference between the way the books have been compiled and this is just stuff that i found um as i've been doing my uh, research and then people are emailing me back my customers and saying that oh this doesn't work and I do some research and I find out why and mainly because the platforms they don't adhere to 100 percent of the EPUB uh, standards and I've had to do some tweaks okay and then once we've gone through these we have two more options one is that we can generate a word uh, a 2007 file whose extension will be a DOCX and one use for this type of file would be that if you want to send it to a friend of yours um, a lot of my customers actually have people in the uh, in, in the Philippines or in India that basically proofread do some corrections or whatever it is then you can always send them this kind of file where they can make their modifications and then they can send it back and the same with the PDF um, a lot of the um, uh, places like create space uh, and others where there's a physical book you can send a PDF or you can send a word document well these formats are uh, definitely worth looking at if you want to send somebody a PDF version okay so there you go, those are the output options and I hope this video helped you in understanding those. We'll see you in the next one.